Hi guys, it's Blackie. Okay, this is an update. Yes, we are still a go for the Silver Wolves classes. Um, Mike Simmons, one of our instructors, has reached out to landowners and they said yes, everything's okay at the site. That was a concern to me because it is right up there close to the Tennessee border north of Atlanta. Now, let's talk about road. Interstate 40 and Interstate, I believe they said 26, is washed out. And so they're diverting the traffic from Interstate 40 to 75 down to Atlanta and then across 85. That's going to make a nightmare out of Atlanta. Um, it was always, always bad, but it's going to be a real bad nightmare right now. My route that I'm going to be taking will take me up Interstate 85 then around Atlanta, then you pick up uh, 75 up just a little ways, and you hit 575, which is a toll road. I didn't find that out until today, but 575 is a toll road, so be prepared for that. Have you some change or some way to pay with that, but it is a toll road, and then that runs up into the mountains and up where we're going. So at present, everything is a go for me and my instructors. I've heard nothing different. Now, uh, again, bring your camping gear. Bring your water. Bring your food. We will have on-site uh, firewood and a fire pit. We have porta potties for biological functions, etc. But there is no uh, water on site, so bring your own water. Uh, there is no electricity on site. We will have I will have my great big huge Blue Eddy uh, Charging cube so you can charge up your phone or something like that uh, Those of you who are signed up and have paid to come to the Silver Wolves class Down in the description box. There's going to be an email. I Would like you to email me at that email and I will send you my contact phone number to get a hold of because once I leave here Thursday o dark 30 I will not have access to my computer or my uh, emails so if you email me I won't be able to get you okay unless you text me and so therefore only the students who have signed up look down in the description box and send me an email and I will send you a contact phone number just for this event that phone number will be gone after this event so don't everybody that sees this video says man oh I know Blackie's phone number I'll give him a call and uh uh this phone number is a one time hit only I've got a disposable phone just for this and I will not have access to my computer and stuff and that's where I keep unlike a lot of the young people today my entire world is not on my phone and I have a home based computer that's got my uh, business stuff on it and my emails and stuff like that I can't squint at a one inch screen and see well enough to do emails and stuff got whacked right there by a squirrel anyway now that that's done like I said we will have firewood on site so for the community fires when will we be on site uh, one of our members will be on site on Thursday morning Okay, I will be there traffic pending sometime after lunch Thursday. Students are supposed to arrive on Friday. Those early ones that have asked could they come on earlier? Yes, we'll be there after lunch on Thursday. Okay, so show up at the site and we will set up and navigate then. I have not personally been to this site. This is a brand new site for us. And so it is like going to be a learning curve for all of us. But we're going to make it happen. You know. Guys, I would not have put all this traffic on everybody. If I could avoid it, I would surely do it. But with all of Hurricane Helene's damage up in the end of Tennessee and the Carolinas, it has screwed up the interstate system and it's going to be diverting a huge amount of Interstate 40, which is one of the primary east to west interstates, they they to get around the mountains and get to the coast, they've got to drop down to Atlanta and go around 85 or go up 81 and go up further to get around through Virginia and all. So, that whole end of that state of North Carolina 
all them mountains are just about inaccessible and that's going to make a huge headache uh, in Atlanta all the roads in Atlanta all, all the roads in Georgia just seem to aim at Atlanta and anytime you're trying to go around Atlanta and avoid Atlanta it just adds hours and hours of these little two-lane roads so good luck to everybody take your time be safe and I'm looking forward to see you remember bring your camping gear what do you need for the class bring some sort of notes an ability to take notes you know something you can write down with because you're going to want to do that uh, we will have hands-on classes we will also have classes which you're going to be putting stuff together or doing stuff so it's going to be a, a interactive thing have a chair to sit down in because we don't have bleachers or nothing so it's going to be around a communal area for instruction uh, have your own food your own camping gear etc i don't know what else to tell you guys I'm looking forward to seeing you. It's going to be an adventure. Till next time, guys, I'm Blackie wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.